Sure, playing ranked matches in Street Fighter 6 is a lot of fun, but what if instead of a 1v1, it was a 5v5? That's right, if you didn't already know, Street Fighter 6 allows for team tournaments where as you play, all four of your other teammates are watching and hoping you don't lose, because if you do, you're eliminated. Of course, after learning this, I had to host one myself, so that's exactly what we're doing today. If you like these fighting game videos and want to see more, definitely make sure to the like button and subscribe, but with that said, let's get this team tournament underway. Here we go, we've got J Productions on Kimberly. And Corbin with the alcoholic known as Jamie. Let's go ahead and see. Kimberly backing up. Wants to take the time. Quick sweep. Corbin, big punish. Takes a sip of the old Alk. Kimberly jumping in. Corbin taking his time. Flips back. Teleport. Goes in. Pressure on Kimberly. Corbin finding a place to, to mash those couple lights. Nice anti here with the jab. Street Fighter 5. Kimberly responds back with a huge combo all the way to the corner. This is where we see the setup. But wait a minute. Jamie just EXs out. Takes a little sip off the sippy cup. My goodness, there it is! Breaks through the armor. That could have been a game changer. Another moment where Kimberly's forced away with an EX. It's a real even game. Slight health lead for Jamie. Kimberly needs to find the time. Can't teleport away. Splashed against the wall. No combo pickup. Down on the luck. Can't teleport away. The alcoholism is set in. He's letting his hair down. Corbin's finding some time for relaxation. But now we're back to the beginning of the game. Kimberly staying back. Big sweep. That's going to be great for corner pressure. But a grab! Corbin slips his way out. And Kimberly slips her way out. No trades in the corner as of yet. Kimberly keeping the pressure and watches up for the EX move. That was definitely the game changer from last time. We love to see that adjustment. Jamie can't find a break. There's a grab. Finally gets a second to himself. But then he responds back just in time. We're going to see Jamie go straight into the super. And he wins! Ooh! The critical art! Big damage! Bar for bar with Kimberly! But now Kimberly's burnt out! Can't put away the game! She's gonna take chip damage! If there was any chip damage to be taken. It's 1-1! Predictions on the line! Twitch chat! You can't be comfortable if you're a fan of either of them! You've gotta be on the edge of your seat! Dash in for Jamie! Sweep hits! No Oki! No! No jump-ins allowed! Jamie's had enough, and he armors through! This could very well be the game! Dashing combos are going! There's another grab! Kimberly needs to escape now, but can't find the time! Barely makes it out with drive! Throws him back into the corner! Control art is available! But can't take any hits! No meter left! She's building up as we speak. Teleport in. Burn out on Jamie. Burn out on Kimberly. Chip damage. An issue for both of our competitors. System mechanics not available. One hit left. All oh, that's all Kimberly's got. This is about as close a game as Street Fighter as you can expect to see. Combo for Kimberly. Not a lot of damage. A sweep comes in. It's game. Jamie's taking it. Team Corbin has won. They've won the prediction. But what a set from both of these competitors. Anyway, we're back. J Wait a second. Wait a second. Our, our winner from last round... He's getting, he's getting looped up. He's getting looped up. Wait a minute. Soapy Bowl was in the chat. He was saying the lukening was about to happen. And he's delivering the Luke slam. My goodness. He's just letting it go. It's luking time. My goodness. Soapy Bowl. Great neutral up until the point where he got hit by that. Jamie doing it all now. Manages to jump away from that. That's huge. He's got him in the corner. Avoids the grab by Jamie. Unfortunately, takes another one, so he's back in the corner regardless. And then the drive from Jamie to keep him in the corner. What kind of combos do we have here? My goodness, fair bit of damage. Luke just mashing the... <laughs> Damn! Bro is not going to let any of that slide. It's Luke in time. Sandblast. Off the glove. Big combo. That was actually big damage for Luke. Sandblast. Sandblast. Double sandblast. Oh, but that's going to go to Jamie. It's burnout for Jamie, but he doesn't care. He'll be fine going 1 1. The Luke fanatic, Soapy Bowl himself, he just can't get it. Meanwhile, Jamie, he's unstoppable at his locals. But does that matter to the Luke fanatic who took round one so convincingly? He showed me that Luke can do some big damage. Jumps back. Gets a punish counter and a knockdown, but unfortunately gets hit by the EX. Oh, my goodness. The grab to keep corner. Corbin's definitely, definitely playing pretty dominant now. Could he have adjusted to the looking time? He might have just been, he might have just needed a few hours to adjust to that time zone difference. Luke's gonna need a big hit here to get even. Oh, this might be it for Jamie. With the drive to lock it up. Jamie's gone two for two. Warbin is in full effect. 
Although I will give it up. Soapy Bowl was he was he was out there playing Luke. <laughs> Not Luke Warm. Damn. Damn, bro got the shit talk for commentators already. Here we go. We've got Marissa coming out here. Demo Demolition Rhino. We saw some good stuff out of Demolition Rhino before. Let's see if he can get the job done here. Going up against Corbin. Big combo coming out. Finds the time to get a uh, get a sip. Another sip. Finding a lot of time, a lot of safety away from Marissa. But a three-piece combo does a lot. Oh my goodness, another three-piece combo. Hold the drink. Let me get you another one. Make it four pieces up. Marissa's throwing in a little extra. Corbin lands a grab. But the armor, my goodness, Demolition Rhino. He just pieced them up. Lunch, dinner, and then you got to remember, the, what, what about second breakfast? Dash in. He wants to control that range. I like the dash in from Demolition Rhino. Let him know that you're not afraid. Even if you got to take a few stray hits from it. Jamie playing a bit patiently. Demolition Rhino, another three-piece. Another one. Look at the damage on just that. Another three piece. My God, he's at the drive through and he's blocking it. Oh, Demolition Rhino. He wasn't going to let it slide. He takes down Corbin. He's got him at the drive through He's asking, can I take your hat, sir? The three piece combo all the way back. Will he be able to keep that up against DJ, though? We won't know until we see it ourselves. This is classic DJ, gold rank. That's all we know about him. How does he play? How good is he with the feints? Does he enjoy a projectile game in the morning? Marissa playing a little slower this time. Can't seem to find that three-piece avenue. Oh, armor through it. Didn't get the hit, but I like the read on the dash. Nice spacing. Nice spacing for the Demolition Rhino. Give it four-piece. Jump in. How about a three-piece? Wait a second. Make it a four-piece. Another jump in. Thankfully, DJ is able to block the cross-up. That would have been huge. Another three-piece. No, only got two. Straight hit on the two. Nice, here comes some projectiles. DJ could make a lot of a lot of lost health up for that. Heck! Demolition Rhino! Play in the game! Huge! His team could really use this. Oh, DJ playing fast and loose with that feint. Almost had me faint into my seat. Oh, a grab from DJ. Dominant last three seconds. And a sweep! Oh, Demolition Rhino with a hell of a tech. Blocks the projectiles. He got a chance for the three piece! My goodness! Demolition Rhino with a heavy statement. He, just, he said, stick to the projectiles next time. Good jump on Marissa. Faint from DJ. I like the projectile game. We might see more of that. I also like the I like the balls on the slide in. There he goes. He wants to keep it. Okay. I like that too. If that's the way you want to play, you got to stay true to yourself. Just know that staying true to yourself might cost you 50%. Oh, just out of Marissa's range for that classic iconic three-piece. You do not want to go with that. Oh, the jump. Oh my God. It was a trade, but only in the way that I, I could trade like my 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 cousin, like a, a holographic Charizard for his favorite, like non-hollow. That was not worth it. Nice block on the overhead from the fate. Marmar HD. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Projectile game dashing. Big combo. Can he put it away though? Marissa definitely one hit away from dying. Woohoo! The armor at the last second. That was just good game sense from Demolition Rhino, who jumps one projectile but couldn't jump two. That was some great armor. I thought it was over. I was about to call it. 1-1 one, one here for Demolition Rhino. DJ could definitely put a stop to this momentum. He needs to put a stop to it. You don't, you don't want to let a Rhino loose on your team. Jumps into the faint. Can't land it. Three-piece. Big damage. Can't land the three-piece again. Does land the jump in. He's just throwing out grabs. Good chance for DJ to get something going here. Jumps over the projectile. Doesn't get the parry and takes a trade. But again, when you're trading with Marissa, you've got to be sure you're okay with that. Huge damage. Oh, no. Big time grab from Demolition Rhino. That might just set up game. DJ fighting for his life. Doesn't splat against the wall. That could have been game itself. Trades, trades, more trades. You can't take another one of those. It's going to come down to the projectile game. Big slide. Sets up a huge grab there. Big c -c 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 combo. Not able to set it up. He's got projectiles and he's going to wrap it up by burning out. Hell of a game from DJ there. Knew when to call it quits on the rushing in. And then just locked it up with a great projectile. Demolition Rhino almost came up even. I think he already came up big for his team. But he could have come up insanely big. DJ had to put a stop to it. Wow, and no Capcom intermission. We're just going straight into the next one with Ken versus our DJ from before. A platinum Ken, no less. The fireball game is crazy. He demands to be taken seriously from a full range. He saw DJ not playing that range game. He thinks he might be uncomfortable with it. So DJ, what do you got for us? How can you play that range game? Ken's demanding it from you. Oh, it looks like he's going to just try not to play it. How's Ken with that? Does that work for Ken Masters? Does that work for Captonky? 
jump in. Can't get it to land, but the pressure is good. DJ finding the fault in the stars. An EXDP from 10. That's big time damage. Oh, 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 oh. Does it get the grab on DJ? Full screen pressure. We're seeing good fireball. That was an excellent fireball game from Ken. That's how you play Street Fighter, baby. Throw out some more fireballs for me. No punish on that, but that's okay. Jump in. Doesn't get the cross up. Drive up against the wall. Give me a little quick EXDP combo. Love to see that. Do it again. We might be seeing an EX wake up from there. Off the wall again. Give me another DP. Will he do it a third time? No. DJ had enough. He's going to wake up himself. Dash it on the slide. That's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. Drive comes out. That's for... Oh, wait a, wait a second. Hold on. My, do my eyes deceive me? Or is this a modern Ken Masters? He's doing it with 20% less damage. He's doing it all. He backs up. He's throwing more fireballs. And they're modern fireballs. These, these bad boys come out fast. There's not a fireball input. Unless they're in. What a perfect parry! You gotta respect him. My goodness. That demands respect. The modern master. EXDP on wake up. Sometimes as Ken, you just, those kind of happen. Those are natural. It's like breathing. Fireball game comes out. DJ respecting it. He's trying to go for a perfect parry on him. Double fireball. I like that option a little better. You got to demand to see some EXDPs. Oh my God. On block. Oh my God. He did it again. He wants you to do it. Don't fall for it. He wants you to do it. Oh, burnout for Ken. He'd be taking a lot of chip damage. So he knows he has to close the gap. He doesn't want to take that chip damage for DJ. Throw in the corner. Ken could put it away. Big combo. Off burn on another super. The modern master. Choduken. Low health on DJ. He needs to win this round though. He's burnt out now. Ken with all the meter in the world. Splat off the wall. He's dizzy. Ken masters. The modern master is here. All right. After the Capcom intermission, we're back with the modern master versus a guile. And this is Kazmus. At this point, he's probably still on one hour of Guile, uh, Guile training. It might be two, though. It might be two. Technical eyes on Guile. I can't even speak. That's how hype I am to see this. Close range. Hadouken into a flash kick. That's one hour of experience there, baby. Ooh. Drive's going to lead to some big damage for Ken. That is a cool-looking combo. I want to learn Ken next. Oh! The modern master. His reaction time is insane. He knows the system mechanics. He loves it. He em fully embraces it. Guile sticking out a limb. That's going to be another big combo for Ken. Can't put the game away just on that, but this grab sure can. Can he help his team get a, a, an even game back? Maybe even a lead. Kazma's going to back up. Enjoy the Sonic Boom game. Go ahead. I would recommend it. Sonic Booms. Why not? Why not play the long range game? This is why I, I'd give you one argument for. My stream is lagging like crazy. Is it not? My OBS going crazy right now. It can't even handle the speed. If there's only minor frame drops, then we'll have to take it. It's at the same time. But Guile takes it with the round on the line. Blocks the EXDP. He doesn't take chip. He's still got meter. He's going to risk it all for that. And Ken with the EX Hadouken to put him away. Let's get back to it now. Ken Masters has definitely evened up the game here. Big time fireball game. Ugh. At this point, I wouldn't even use the drive moves against Ken. He's, he knows that he can time it. In the corner, big sure you. Nice grab from Jury to put him in the corner. And goes for the drive herself. Never mind what I was saying. That was beautiful. Nice. Out of the corner. Sure you from Ken. Another grab from Jury. Evens up the game a little bit. Oh my goodness. There's that Ken wake up EX. Dive kick from Jury. Nice block. But the, the, the armor, man. You can't do anything about it. My goodness, Captonky might be able to run his way through the whole team. Ken stepping back to play that early game fireball. Oh, step up, sure you. Nice grab from Jury, setting the pace of the game. Good defense, blocks the overhead into another grab. Loving what I'm seeing from Jury. I like the patience. Be confident in your block. Take your time, take your time. Grab him, parried it. Oh, no. Tried to get him with that get off me, but Ken just perfect parried that too. That is the modern master. He's mastered every modern system mechanic in the game. Oh, Perry comes out again. Oh, off the wall, dizzy. My goodness, doesn't get much off of it though, to be fair. Super comes out from Jury and it lands. Is this a critical art? I actually don't know, I didn't get to see. And I don't know the animation difference. Oh, big damage for Jury and locks up around with the grab. 
My God, the King might just save his team just yet. Backs up, no fireball from Ken. Instead opting to go for the reaction, sure you. Another grab from Jury. We've seen these grabs play a vital role in the game and I want to see it some more. Drive from Ken, it's huge, it's big time. It's horrible, you're in the corner now. What do you do to get out? The armor move! Do you've got a punish combo for that? A little bit, a little bit of a drop. Ken wasted a lot of bar. He's down, he's in burnout range if you can push him. If you can get him there, you might stand a good chance of winning this game. DP on DP. Grab. You're up in health. Go ahead. You're up in health. He's burnt out. He landed it, but he won the battle, but he might lose the war. Nothing left. You're burnt out now too. Everybody's taking chip damage. Oh, good heavens. It's Ken Masters. What do you do now? Do you raw, did you just raw super? What, that was a stance super? All right, well, there it goes. That was a great round, back and forth. But Kemtonki locks it up again. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Did you see who the final player is on this team? It's Nexus. And if you know anything about Nexus is that he is used to being in these high pressure situations. He knows how to anti here. That might come in clutch, but does he have that mechanic? Whoa, jumping in on the first fireball. Blocks, looks out for DP, and gets stepped up by the modern master. Tatsu unfortunately drops, no corner carry for Ken. Fireball game. Tries to get the dash in grab, not gonna work. It's not looking pretty, the system mechanics are flying. Nexus with a good parry. Sure you on the jump in. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Dash in, another EXDP, he's the modern master. Oh, the step up DP into a grab. Oh, come talking with one of the best rounds he's ever had. He's loving it, he's loving it. Fireball game, We've needed, we need to see a change up on approach. We need to see Nexus, how he's gonna respond to these drives. At least he didn't block it, I guess. Nice sweep, a chance for knockdown. No EXDP comes out from Ken, but there's one. What combo do you have? Go off, big damage. What do you have? What punish can you do? I need to see a big one. That DP is crazy. He's playing on modern so he can get even faster anti-air DPs. No doubt about it. Has to block it again. Ken's a little closer to getting burnt out than Manon. Can't find anything there. On burnout if he uses another EX move. Doesn't want to jump it. There it is. A perfect jump against the Hadouken. And a well-placed EX move. He's got him off the final hit. But now he's burnt. Ken masters a chance to come back. Jump in on the combo for the reset. He didn't get the super. I have no doubt he wanted the super, but he doesn't get it. Man is going to get an anti to lock it up. It's coming down to the final round. This is crazy. This is crazy. No doubt this has a very real chance. Oh, tries to roll through the fireball, but the footsies by Katonki to space that out was too good. Another drive. We need to see those get punished. A parry on the Shoryu. What damage do you got? Pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll take it. Jump in. You've got to watch the fireball. No doubt that's what that parry was for. The drive hits again. Jump in. Punish. Oh, no grab. Ah, oh, can't do anything about the drive. Ken getting away with what some would consider murder. But that's why he's the modern master. There are no random, there are no random actions. He knows everything he's doing. Oh, risky fireball, but there it is. It lands. That's probably game for Ken Masters. Does he get the super again? It's raw. A chance to block. And a chance to punish with their own. It's Manon with a beautiful ballet dance. A control art. My God, they're elegant. And here comes the big ah, slam into burnout. He'll probably DP. But it can't be EX. And Nexus locks it up with a super drop. An unfortunate super drop from Ken. And we're going to see Nexus relish in it. He clutches up. We'd like to once again thank Capcom for making this impossible to get through a full tournament. On, on last game? Come on, bro. There was one more fight. All right, here we see Junko. Nice block on the sweep. Putting a lot of pressure in that mid range and a great DP to get him out of the air. And with a huge dash in, another one of those famous Nexus anti-airs. Burnout on Jury. Ken Nexus finds some time. Big drive. Doesn't get him into the corner though. Still burnt out for just a little while now. Oh, a dash and grab. He's got to do something, but a meaty from Jury is going to lock up a round one victory. All right, going into round two, we saw some we saw some openings for Manon to get some something off. But just wasn't able to lock it up. Nice. R for bar, but Jury gets the jump. Neutral jump to set that up. That was crazy. 
Dash in. A great DP. Keeping pressure in the corner. Another grab. You can't just block. Jury's announcing it loud to the world. If you're playing against this jury, blocking is not enough. A super comes out. What do you get with the setup? Oh my goodness. No way. Does it kill? Just barely it doesn't, but what a combo display from Jury. Really clean. Manon playing clean to catch a comeback now. But is it even possible? One bar of health in a dream. Has to parry it off the ground. Jump in, DP! What a game from Jury. Big combos on display. And you got to remember, this was Team Underdog. Ooh, but there goes Marissa. Demolition Rhino has... Uh, Demolition Rhino is known for his upsets. He, he got the three-piece. He has the game sets. What an air-to-air. -air. Oh, my goodness. But Jury combos in the corner. That's a dangerous place to live. Big damage. Dash it. It's, it's for nothing, though. You burned out just to get this four-piece. Just to get this five-piece. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Still a lot of burnout time. You take the chip. Not that much, though. To be fair. I would have I would I would have enjoyed blocking that. Demolition Rhino. The burnout's about ended. Can he... DP punish. The four-piece couldn't get the range. That could have been round one for Rhino. Instead, he's going to have to survive the gauntlet. He's going to have to dodge the projectiles. Find space. Not get grabbed with the armor. Demolition Rhino. He's got one round. Can he find another? Air to air. Couldn't find it. Big jump in for Jury. Neutral jump to set up the combo. We've seen that a lot. Stance. Tackle. Combos. Dash in. Big damage. Resets. Do it again. Oh. Oh, good heavens. It's an onslaught. Demolition Rhino can't find a way to break out. DP on the jump in. Jury is feeling good after that one. A statement victory after the round one loss to get a perfect victory in round two. Will Demolition Rhino let that shake his faith in himself? We have to hope not, but you never know. Perfects do strange things to people. Drive! Four piece. Wait a minute. Make it a seven piece. Six piece, actually. You know that'll cost you $10.99 at least. Oh my God, another piece. You just can't, the burnout already. Looks like drive's not gonna be much of a factor for Jury in this match. Demolition Rhino taking his time, taking his sweet time. Burnout's already 75% over. Grab as well. Don't rush it though. He'll find a way to get that four piece in. Ooh, get off me tool from Jury. Doesn't want it, doesn't want to have to block anymore. Oh! Every jump in could be the last. Jury dash in combo. Big super. Drops it. Blocks. Almost burnt out again for the second time in one match. Here comes a grab. Not enough to put it away. And it wasn't a trade. It wasn't a both. It wasn't a draw. Jury actually had a little more health for that anti-air. That was a close one. A nail biter. Oh, it's Soapy Bowl's turn. Could this be the Lukening? Is this the beginning of the Luke special? Or will he end up going lukewarm again? Can't find the jump in. Big drive. What do we got for damage? Pretty decent. Sandblast off the glove. Double EX that. Keeps pressure in the corner. Jury's got to find a way out. Just a dashing grab. Just trades corner. Effortless. Makes it look like no, like there was no fear there. Dash in for the low. Wow. Big damage off the jump in. Luke tries to get it to go again. Jury, amazing combos, coast to coast. Nice tech. Another dash in low from Jury, but Luke's adjusted. Not going to fall for the same trick twice. And big damage doesn't get the combo, though. Could have put it away. Nice jump back. Stays out of Jury's range. We've got to worry about the slope. Oh! It was a read of a lifetime, but it just didn't work. That would have been crazy. DP bait! No, it's a one-hit game for everybody. Sandblast. Luke definitely has the advantage from range. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I fell silent. My heart was in my throat. Luke didn't get the anti-air. Jury jumped in. They didn't even exchange numbers at the bottom. They just kind of awkwardly sat there for a second. In the words of a wise man, it might in fact be looking time. Knockdown. No Oki. Sandblast off the glove. Oh, raw DP. He must have been reading a different book than me. Burnout on Jury, but already into the super. So that means big combos are already a thing. Grab two. If Luke can get out of this, that might be a chance. But it's a small one at that. 
The elephants might be pissed here. We might be sticking around. Jump in, but anti-air trade was good enough to lock that one up. You've got to wonder right now, is he is is Junko going for the sweep? Junko very well might have his eyes set on that sweep, but is is this DJ gonna let that slide? I don't think so. Oh, the dash ins. I gotta say, Jury has definitely used the uh the uh the drive dash more than I've seen anyone else do it, and I got I like it. I like that you want a dive kick to play the fireball game perfectly. Commands the corner, pieces him up. That was a great round for Jury and a great round for Junko's team. You've got to wonder. You've got to wonder. Could he have his eyes set on the sweep? This Jury's not afraid of burnout. But to be fair, have we seen any evidence that burnout is a scary thing to, to this Jury? I don't think so. Nice. Good super for the damage. Also got a lot of space. Oh, just nothing going the way for DJ that you want to see. You got to hope for an anti here. Big time for DJ. Tries to go for the overhead again, but a parry is just going to eat both options up. Dash in. Could that be game? Combo drops. Burnout for Jury. Both comp competitors go for a grab, but they're just out of range. There's the dive kick for that fireball game. Junko has seemingly the answer for everything. Wunko? <laughs> Is this a Wunko experience? Cap Tonky, the modern Ken Masters, he's got to put it away. His name is Cap Tonky, but he also goes by the modern master. Known for his ability to DP anybody out of the air. It's Cap Tonky. Known for an early fireball game. He's going to play it. Junko's got to find a way to beat it. Two Hadoukens to the chest. Make it three. Make it four. Make it five. He's looking for a chance to jump in, get a dive kick, but Ken Masters playing it perfectly just out of reach. A great DP from Jury. Ken in the corner, it's gonna stay that way. Drive comes out, interrupts him, full combo opportunity for Ken, and he's gonna make the use of it. Eight hits in the corner, another DP, you can't jump. Jury's gonna have to go for a back grab, a get off me tool. Forces burnout on herself though. Fireball, fireball, chip damage, chip damage, sure you if you jump. There's no option, trade, overhead, Another drive. He knows he can't respond to it like he wants to. Fireball. The jump, but it still hits the fireball. The modern master playing a perfect fireball game here. It's going to get round one against Jury. Jury dash in for the low. Sets up a beautiful combo and has him in the corner already. EXDP. Jury saw it coming. Had to get the punish. That's great thinking right there because that's making adaptations before you pay for them. Jury knew that that EXDP was going to be a problem. I love the decision to block on frame one. Fireball game comes out, another trade, but Jury's up to the point where I think that's worth. Modern Master trying to get some system mechanics to go out. Jury once again in burnout. Text the grab. Fireball, fireball, chip damage, chip damage, chip damage, chip damage, chip damage. You can't do anything. He's looking for a chance to dive and there it is. Ken had to do a better job of playing around that, but the fireballs meant nothing because Jury was able to find that opening. Fireball game looking good. He's got to space it right. He couldn't find the sweet spot. And now Jury's playing her game. No grab from Jury. Great patience by Ken. DP. Oh, try to get the step up, but too much downtime. Oh, what a DP. That could have been the game. But Ken's not going to let it happen. Katanki's got to get a comeback if anything's going to go right here. Grab into the corner. Not a lot of health. Not a lot of time. Fireball. Drive. Drive! He knew what he was looking for. He stepped up to the plate and he gets the super. He's not out yet. If you're betting on this team, you've got to give Cat Talkie your strength because there's a lot of game to play left. Chip damage. No fireballs off Jury. She's got to play the best game of fireballs of her life, but she just couldn't do it. It's cannon time for the modern master as he stops a Junko sweep. Ooh -wee. What a match by these two competitors. Some great Street Fighter being played. The elephants are pissed now, though. Of course, in order for this to be a win for Ken's team, he's going to have to do it not once, not twice, not thrice. I'm skipping over four because we all know what that means. He's got to do it five times. He's got to do it big. That was one. Can we start with two? Fireball game's great. Cammy's full screen. Not sure how many options Cammy has to deal with this, but jumping in always works. My goodness, already a quarter of the health gone, and we're just getting into the game. Now, Jungo did a great thing for their team, but you've got to wonder, could, his, could their teammates be cold at this point? 
It's been a lot of day with no Street Fighter for him. Big drive in the corner. Into a grab. That's round one for the Modern Master. Big Hadouken. Big kick. What a jump in. Big Tatsu damage along with a heaping of corner carry. But Kami with a great drive out of the corner. What a reaction. Didn't get a huge punish off of it though. But the reaction stands the same. Ken's going to have to think about every drive he does now. Kami's going to have to think about it too though. In the corner. Nice block. Couldn't get the drive to come out. That might very well be game from Ken. Super. Ugh. 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 That's game. Cap Tonky, he's done it twice. So nice he had to win twice. But what does that have to do with him winning thrice? Can he pull through against Crimson? An artist from the channel you may know. He's done a lot of good thumbnails. He's a talented artist. In fact, I would say he's one of the best of the best. Damn, Crimson in the chat. Okay, time to clutch. He knows he's him. He knows he can do it. And it's going to be a Ken off. It's Ken versus Ken. Crimson versus Cap Tonky. The fireball game is off to a roaring start. EX fireball, huge. I'm loving the speed from Crimson. Way to control the pace. Big piece up. Couldn't block the overhead. Couldn't block the overhead part two. He's going to go low this time. Nice. Double jab. He adjusted. Drive comes out though. Tatsu in the corner. No DP. Jump reset. Great block. But has to react to that. That move is so good in the corner. DX DP. That's how you play Ken. And you got to respect it right back. Jump in. Big combo. Nice. Takes cornerback. Oh, but a grab's going to do the same. It's actually going to do a lot more damage than I expected. Who is the master of masters? I like that tagline. Big drive. Not going to be able to get much of a combo off of it, though, the way he was spinning. I don't expect Crimson to, have, to lab that one. I, I definitely have it. Big EX you. Could we be seeing one from Crimson? The pressure's insane. Doesn't fall for the overhead bait. Keeping his distance, but again, the drive comes out. I think in order to deal with Cap Tonky, you've got to be okay with letting that one fly. You've got to be okay with doing the drive yourself. Big, heavy hitter. Shoryu, punish with Shoryu. Not a lot of health left. Great block. It's okay to block that mid-screen. It's okay. Shoryu, not a lot of health left. Good block. Oh, no. Super response. That's game. I got cooked. Damn. <laughs> it was a match well fought. I love the adjustments. I love seeing that happen. But Cap Tonky's done it again. Up next, King Messiah. Can King Messiah stop the reverse sweep? We've got another jury. We've got King Messiah on jury. Seems a little more okay with playing that full range fireball game. But the jump in gets sure you'd all the same. My goodness. Oh my word. It's just a Ken special. Oh! Even a DP jury with a big, a big response. Nice punish on that as well. And a great block on the EXDP. I think with proper combo routes, that could have been huge. Burnout on Ken. DP. A great dash up grab. He's still burnt out. Ken text the grab. You can't. You have to be careful about those DPs, but that was huge. Oh my god! Great blocks on the DP for King Messiah to get a round one comeback. That was huge. King Messiah's got to dig deep. There was a lot of situations in that round where if, with King Messiah had like... I, again, I don't know the jury punishes, but big punishes. Oh, like right here. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. That, oh, playing the fireball game too. Could King Messiah lock it up? Kataki seems to be playing a bit slower pace. He seems to know what's on the line. Big Super comes out, though, regardless. We're not in critical art range just yet. I wouldn't worry about it. Playing it slow. I got to get my cat off my computer. Big grab. Burnout on Jury. Oh, my God. Is that a raw Super? Parry. That could have been. Oh, misses two grabs. That was almost the biggest choke. That was crazy. Jury with a jump in. Ken with the fireball game. You love to see Jury get that jump in into a grab. That's big damage. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy against the modern master. Drive. King Messiah seems to want to put this game away. But I don't think Kataki's going to let that happen. Big response. And a huge combo in the corner. Shoryu's coming out. Not a lot. Nice. That's what we need to see. Maybe a more patient game could work. EXDP. King Messiah. You, the punish is on the... Oh! Mama, there goes that man! 
Here he comes. He dropped it. But King Messiah would got a little hit the oh my goodness. What a round, what a round. Ladies and gentlemen, Cap Tonky has done the unthinkable. He's reversed the 4-0. He's done it himself. He's got his own 4-0. The four-win streak. But we all know who he's going up against. The one, the only, J Productions. Ken J, stop a man. Hot on his heels. We've seen some mix-ups from him. But what will the EXDP have to say about that? A great answer to the fireball game, but a perfect parry from Ken into a drive. Another drive. Already, this is the finale I was hoping for. This is two Street Fighter competitors at the peak of their game. In the corner, the response was perfect. Jump up from Kimberly. Big damage on the combo. Back into mid-screen. There's that EXDP we talked about in the scouting report. Fireball game comes out. What's the answer from Kimberly? Goes into a super. Doesn't get much. Dash. Full range. Safe. Jump in. Big. Grab out of the drive. Great combo. Rush. Big combo corner. EXDP might come out. Grab instead. Another grab from Kimberly. Not going to combo. EXDP. It's not going to happen. Could happen here. And there it is. Burnt out Ken. No damage to take chip from. Kimberly locks up round one. Round one for Kimberly here. Ken Masters. He's got four wins on the belt. The modern master himself. He responds to the teleport, but not well enough. Fireball. Blocks the low. Not spaced well enough to be safe. Doesn't get to shore you off the combo. That's a big drop. Every drop like that matters, especially when it leaves you unsafe. The rush from Kimberly. We might see a setup. Here comes her OST. She's got her headphones on. Spray paint everywhere. Ken's going to be in that. I think he's going to be in that CA range. Not yet. EXDP, but Kimberly saw it coming. He's got CA. He's got the drive. Can he make a comeback happen? He needs to hit it now. There it is. Don't go anywhere, folks. I know you want to leave before that traffic hits. But with the CA, this game's far from over. One hit for anybody probably will do. Sure, you enrage. Off the wall. He's dizzy. He's dizzy. He's got a block. He goes for the grab. It's 1-1. One, one. It could go either way. A lot of people there thought Jay was going to put it away. But Ken Masters with CA is a dangerous being. EX Fireball comes out. Fireball game being played. Oh, and a mighty big punish. In the corner. No DP comes out. Grab for Kimberly. Trades corner. EXDP. No. Meaty hit. Parry instead. Slide. You're unsafe. Drive. There's Ken's response. Another grab from Kimberly to take corner back. Burnout on Ken. Chip damage. I'm not sure how too big of a thing it is. Raw super. You know he's got to be thinking it's a risky game now. He's got to get being, He's got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Grab to take corner back. Kimberly not going to let it happen. Grab! It wasn't though. Ken might have expected it was, but there it is. J Productions finishing what Junko started and taking the win for Team Junko. Cap Tonky did a lot, but he couldn't do it all. What an amazing tournament. Thank you all for being here today. That is how you play Street Fighter.